Uh, my name's Harry Ells. I'm here at the AMA flying site for the U.S. pattern gnats. I drove down from Canada earlier this week and I've been practicing at the Converse field and now we are into our first day of competition. I felt really good coming down. I, I came down Wednesday night. I've had probably the most practice flights I've ever had here going into this competition. Um, nerves are always a little bit of an uh, issue the first flight, but I, I settled down for my second flight and scored much better. Uh, I look forward to a second day. Unfortunately, I'm first up in the morning, and we'll see how that goes. And I look forward to the rest of the week. Uh, it will be interesting to see if I make the cut to fly in the semifinals because we fly a different schedule for that. And I'm just looking forward to all the great flying by all the competitors that we have here this year. And it's quite an international group this year. My name is Marcelo Vélez. I come from Colombia. Um, we have had this contest as a uh, reference in the Americas. So since it's uh, a lot of people coming from all the states and the level is very high, uh, it is important for us to be able to have the opportunity to compete with uh, one of the top pilots in the world. So that's why it's uh, worth for us to come from South America. There's people coming from Venezuela, from uh, Argentina, from Colombia. So it's becoming a, a very important contest for the Americas and that's why it's, uh, it's worth the trip. I got into flying because of my dad. Um, he also flies RC airplanes, so I was uh, born in a uh, radio controlled uh, model airplanes environment like all my life and uh, he also flies precision aerobatics so that's the reason why I got into airplanes and I've been doing it since I was uh, seven years old. The people is really nice this is a rather uh, close community so we pretty much all know each other so it's also good to come and meet friends and see people who we only see like once a year, uh, but it's also one of the most uh, challenging activities in the radio controlled model airplane industry because it's uh, highly competitive. So all these contests that we make in the States, back in Colombia, are uh, with, the, with the world's inside. Colombia has, have, uh, has had teams competing at the World Championship since 1999. Um, I have been into the uh, USA Worlds in 2011, then South Africa 2013, then Switzerland 2015, and last year we went to Argentina where the 2017 World Championships were held. Uh, for us it's like the main goal on the precision aerobatics uh, pattern flying because it's where the best pilots in the world go and that's what we all work for. I started in model aviation about 40 years ago. When I was uh, a youngster, I tried doing U control by myself and it didn't go very well. And I was introduced to remote control flying and I started into that. And at the time, I was more interested in scale flying than aerobatics. Uh, one of my mentors suggested that I learn to fly pattern, learn how to fly very well and control the airplane before I started building a scale airplane which would be more difficult to fly. I got hooked on pattern and I've been flying it ever since and the, the, I haven't built a scale airplane since then and that's been 35 years now. I think what is most appealing to me about pattern is that uh, I enjoy the challenge of flying different maneuvers. Uh, I would have probably given up flying RC many years ago if it wasn't for that challenge. In fact, I, I really enjoy going out to practice because I never seem to do anything perfect and I get to work on things. Little, little changes to make to try and get that perfect score. I don't think I'll ever get that perfect score, so I think I'll be still doing this for as long as that I can. The scoring systems that we have now are, are very complicated, but they give us very good feedback. We get a pilot analysis at the end of a competition 
that lists our worst maneuver to, to our better maneuvers. And it gives, a, gives me something to take home and I know exactly which maneuvers I need to start working on for the next competition. Usually I know when I'm not doing a maneuver well. The, the pilot analysis usually confirms that and then it's trying to figure out how to fix it if I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So if I don't know what I'm doing wrong I have to turn to others. I, I'm typically very stubborn <laughs> and if, if I can't get a maneuver right I will do it and do it and do it and do it until I, I'm happy with it. I'll never give up.